People oftentimes have a lot of confusion about the difference between WordPress multi-site and simply having multiple WordPress websites on a single server. So that's what this video is going to be about. And in addition to that, I also wanna talk about the difference between WordPress multi-site configuration with a subdirectory and a subdomain. Okay, let's have a look. All right, guys, so let's first start out by talking about the difference between WordPress multi-site and having multiple WordPress websites. WordPress multi-site is defined as a network of sites according to the official WordPress documentation. What this means is that you have a single WordPress installation and within that you have multiple websites. The benefit here is that an administrator can easily manage all of these sites which have the ability to share the same themes and plugins. Now, on the other hand, you also have the ability to install multiple WordPress websites on the same server. The difference here is that each website gets its own WordPress installation to itself. An administrator in this case has the responsibility to keep each instance up to date and individually install themes and plugins. If you would like the ability for your users to create their own on-demand websites or you need to have multiple similar websites, then WordPress multi-site is exactly what you're looking for. A famous example of a WordPress multi-site is Harvard Blogs from Harvard University. Students and teachers at Harvard can create their own website with a harvard.edu web address. For example, at blogs.harvard.edu slash international legal studies, you'll find a blog from one of the schools at Harvard Law. Another example is the Science of Parenting blog at blogs.harvard.edu slash parenting science. Now notice how both of these sites were hosted under a subdirectory. Another option is configuring WordPress multi-site to host individual sites under a subdomain. A great example of this is edublogs.org, which allows educators to create a free blog. For example, you have the Rat Pack blog at psychologyrats.edublogs.org. And another example is edu tech for teachers at edu tech for teachers .edu blogs .org. The difference here is that the edu blogs are using subdomains while the Harvard blogs are using subdirectories. Now, although they all share the same core WordPress installation, you probably noticed how each one of these sites has a different layout and color scheme, and that is one way to configure WordPress multi-site. But if you need more consistency than that, WordPress allows the multi-site administrator to restrict the theme options and customization so that every site in the network has a consistent look and feel. Now, as far as hosting your own WordPress multi-site, I have a ton of tutorials on how to do this manually yourself, but if you're looking for a solution that's ready to go, then Kinsta, WP Engine, and Cloudways are all great options. I want to thank you guys for watching this video. Please subscribe for more like this from me in the future, and if you do, I'll see you in the next one.